Hello everyone, this is Alex from Menu Docs, and in today's video we'll be delving into web design in this new series. Today we'll be creating a very basic website exactly like the one that you see right now. And by the end of the series we'll have a website just like this one if you join us for the full series. Where we'll create things like moving navigation bars, this image scrolling behind, and custom buttons where you can connect to everything you could ever need. So guys, let's start by explaining what HTML is. HTML, more officially known as the Hypertext Markup Language, is a front-end coding language first created in 1995, and since then it has seen five code revisions to the current HTML5 version, and that is the version we'll be using in this tutorial. HTML is based on code tags, such as a head tag for the header of the page, which is this section right here. The paragraph tag, which is making all the text appear. HTML is what you see in most websites you visit, just like our website right here on the Menu Docs web page. This will be linked in the description. Now, guys, now that we've sort of explained what HTML is, let's go into our code editor and start writing some code so you all can create your first HTML web page. Alright guys, for those of you who would like to use the same editor as me, I will be using the Atom Code Editor. The link will be in the description where you can find it for yourself if you would like to use the same thing as me. Now guys, let's get started. First things first, let's create a new file, and let's name it index.html. There you go guys, here's your first HTML document. Now, why are we naming it index.html? This is the main page that your web browser is going to search for. It's going to search for a file named index. So let's use index. So this is the page that will be referred to any time you start a website. So how does HTML work? Well, with all HTML documents, we're going to need to start it with the doc type. This is formed by using both the greater than and less than signs going inside of those, putting an exclamation mark in all capitals, doc, type, space, and then in all lowercase, html. And there you go. What is this going to tell us? Now that you have your doc type html tag, what is the reason that we have this tag? Well, this is going to tell our web browser that this is an html document and that the code following is going to be in the HTML5 format. If you all are using previous versions, you would put 4, 3, 2, or HTML, but HTML defaults to the current version, which is HTML5. So guys, let's actually start putting together a small web page, shall we? Let's begin with your first tag. This tag should be the HTML tag. To form this tag, we again need our inequality symbols, and we are going to be putting in lowercase html. Now, we need to add a tag to close this one. That way, we don't have things like our headers being open because we need to have everything closed. That way we don't have memory leaks and things like that inside of our actual web page. So to do this, we're going to make our HTML tag again, and before the actual H in the HTML of our second tag, put a forward slash. This means that all the information inside of this tag is going to fall in the root section, which is what the HTML tag refers to. This is like your root tag. Everything that goes in here is on the root page. This is what makes all of it work. So, moving on to the next thing, we're going to need the head tag. So to make our head tag, we're going to again need our inequality symbols, the word head, and close the tag. Now, we also need our backslash tag, so everything inside of our document is immediately in the head element. And there you go. There's your head tag. The head is the header of your document. 
at the top of every page you'll see your header. This is what this is. We're just defining our header. And I'll show you a example of the difference between the header and the body here in a minute. But we'll get there after we get a body in here as well. So let's actually put some text in our head element. So to do this, let's do our open our inequality sign and our close of our inequality signs and let's use just P. P refers to our paragraph and anything in here is going to be text that'll actually appear in our header element. Now with a lot of languages such as JavaScript you need to include quotations. In this we don't need quotations so if we type hello on our web page this is going to show hello we don't actually need quotations, which is really nice because we defined the paragraph tags. And as always, don't forget your backslash tag here because we need to close off our paragraph. Keep in mind the forward slash tags for the elements are gonna be used to close any element in HTML with a few exceptions. We'll hit on most of those in the series, but if you're ever unsure, join our Discord that's linked in the description and we'll be able to help you out there. So. I'm going to write in welcome to this web page, but you all can write whatever you would like inside of this tag. So if you would like to write hello, I am a friend, or welcome to the world, things like that. Feel free to put them in here because they will appear in that text box. So let's move on to building a body. Now, the body of our paragraph is where the greater majority of your code is going to be. This is where the bulk of your page is going to come in. So let's create our body and then we will put some information inside of it. So this is really easy. We just put body and as always, don't forget your forward slash body in there as well. Now I'm using enters and tabs and things because this just helps me keep organized. If you all would like to sling everything together on the same line, go for it. I'm not going to be the one to stop you. But I think this helps us keep organized because we can tell everything in the head element is on this margin before the slash head. Everything in the body element is going to be on this tab before the forward slash body. And everything in the HTML is going to be one tab forward before our slash HTML. So the next thing we want to do is we want to put some information in our body and we aren't going to get too picky with it yet. We're just going to again put another paragraph. And the reason that we're going to be using these paragraphs is to write big long descriptions about what's going on on our web page. And We'll look into making lists of data eventually, but as of right now, we're just going to play with some paragraphs. So inside of our paragraph, I'm going to write, this is our body element. And you don't really need much more in here. That's all you really need. So if we save this, you just built your first HTML page. I know it doesn't take much, but it's an HTML page. So guys, first off, congratulations. You built your HTML page. So let's actually go open this up. If we go to where our file is stored, if we right click, go to open with, and go to your browser, you can just click it and it'll appear in your browser right here. Now the only browser this does not work with is Oprah and I'm not completely sure why but it does not like opening local files. So if you all would not like to install another uh, editor or another browser, uh, it, Edge comes default with every Microsoft installation. So you have one right there for you. So here you go guys. This is your first HTML page. In the rest of the series, we're going to be working on developing this page and making it bigger until we have something just 
like this. And with that, that's where we're going to end today's episode. If you all enjoyed today's episode on the menu docs, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know when we upload. Thank you all for watching today, and as always, happy coding. Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below.